Hey guys, this is Lil with another raid video. Uh, thanks to those who already joined the Discord. Uh, it's been great getting some getting some chats on there, getting more people on there. Uh, so yeah, come and join the join the Discord links in the description down below. Uh, today we're gonna pull shards for the Thor fusion. So I'll be doing the fusion on both my free to play, which is sort of a more late game account, uh, and on my uh, on my main account. So I did get a couple of. Uh, uh, the prism crystals uh, from the summon pool. I just thought, why not? They weren't they weren't that bad. So we'll pull a couple of those, and then we'll go into sacreds and see if we get anything nice for the fusion. Okay, so I do need to check. Okay, so we got four, no three, sorry, summons on the. Uh, on the prism shards. Uh, sorry, uh, my face is in the way. There you go. Uh, let me cut that down. Uh, so we got obviously the you know uh, Freya. I can't be honest. I, I still haven't sort of figured out her kit yet. So she's got a full cleanse, fills turn meter and block uh, block debuffs, and then she's got a three turn uh, increased defense and a big shield, and then she's doing oh, an AOE okay with a provoke, which is good. Um, and it counter attacks when there's a shield or oh, shield removed. And then she's got the uh, the good old increases defense each time an ally is inflicted by a crit up to 50%. So you've got to presume that that's going to scale a lot and it prevents a, uh, prevents your nuker from getting one shot, basically. Um, heals them and gives them an instant turn. So she's going to be, you know... Uh, good cleanser and you know protector in arena she's also going to be really good in hydra i'd imagine uh just with this cleanse and the aoe provoke so yeah and i'm going to say that she's probably going to hit pretty hard i haven't actually seen any videos on her so i might just be out of the loop because i'm still sort of catching up with work this week i've not been uh and also like launching the discord like any free time that i had was just put into like building the discord as opposed to like getting back up to date with uh with things going on in game if i'm honest so obviously uh, you know there's a few champs here that aren't bad she's obviously the you know the headline champ she's the best one um Glacid, i just did a takeover on somebody who was quite sort of uh I would say mid going into late game, probably late game, but you know, like with a more limited roster, more limited gear, uh, it'll be a video coming out probably next week. Uh, and we were just building his uh, brutal Hydra team. Um, he'd only been hitting normal before. He only had like one team built. Um, so yeah, and and this guy is like the upgraded version of Duchess from a Hydra perspective. I would say Duchess is still better with her passive from, uh, you know, from like an arena perspective. But yeah, this guy's this guy's kind of uh, kind of crazy because he's got the uh, the ten percent damage buff. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously him or Harima, uh, the two I like. I still don't have a bad L. It doesn't really have a massive place in the game right now. Um, be interesting to see if he could fit into like a Trunda team with the uh, um, with the Gurp Tuck. Sorry, name just wouldn't come to my tongue. Um, but I don't think he does. I think I've seen him in a couple of teams. But so yeah, let's uh, let's see. I've uh, actually got some space because I did some champ training yesterday, which is great. So let's uh, let's see if we can get anything good from our couple of shards. I mean, there's no mercy here, so it's just totally potluck. Uh, Epic. Don't need any epics now. Finally fused my Lady Mikage, thank God. So yeah, had to convert some shards, uh, some gems into shards, just to make sure that I got the uh, the uh, whatever her name was, Ilsenia or or whatever it was called. Um, no, Endalia. That was it. Uh, from the oh ah, long loading screen is always like yes, it's a legendary, and then it's not. Okay, so nothing from there. Let's okay. I'm back after a brief interlude, uh, not that it made, that you guys wouldn't have noticed because I've edited it out. Uh, I, again, uh, failed on Prism uh, shards and I pulled them before Champ Chase uh, started this morning because apparently I just fail at, at Prism shards. So I grabbed a couple more so that we could <laughs> pull some for the actual Champ Chase points. Let's go and make sure that it's actually live because that would be good. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm like cursed with... with uh, primals or just 
disorganized, uh, one or the other. So it's live. There we go. And I haven't pulled anything that counts. I'll leave that in and full disclosure that I totally messed that up and didn't check that champ training. I thought it started uh, later in my time, uh, earlier in my time. So we've got three summons again. Uh, and let's see if we can get, uh, again, the... <sighs> Glaciad, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Glaciad. You correct me in the comments. Uh, Harima or uh, or or the uh, or the Freya. And actually, the champ chase points is pretty low, which is amazing. Um, don't need any any of the epics now. Oh, Freya. Ah, oh, bad owl. Okay, I'm cool with that. He's new, so uh, I'm I'm not complaining. One of the OGs. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't see a lot of play now. Uh, like he's still good at soloing things, but you know, he's like mainly used for like damage tests. It'll be interesting to see if pairing him with, um, like I mentioned, pairing him with Gurptuk is useful in any way. Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Um, but yeah, like I, I mean, I'll build him because he's just such an iconic champ, and he's still like one of the best looking champs in the game. I think. Like I, I, I love his model. It's amazing. Um, awesome. Let's see where that puts us, because actually the points are... Sorry, I keep forgetting it's tournament. The points are really not that high uh, to get the epic. Okay, so, but we're definitely going to need a few more than what we got. We got a thousand and we need 1,500, so... Uh, I mean, I could potentially summon like a like a fragment or something, but I think I'll probably save them. I'm, I'm good for sacred, so... Uh, Let's, again, we got a chance of a Freya here. She's on the uh, the boosted chance uh, on a 10x. So, you know, it's two times Sacreds and 10 times on Freya. So it's not a bad time. Pull a couple. Epic. Is there any Epic I'm still missing? I think the only one is Whisper. Um, but she definitely ain't going to come out of a... Uh... So what was that? That might be us be like really I mean I'm I'm, I'm kind of psyched about a, about a bad L um, not that he's an amazing champ but he's new on my account so I'm quite I'm quite excited to build him 50 I mean that's you know can just crack a couple of I don't actually know what we get for rares what is it 10 sorry morning coffee Okay, and I think this is 10 per thing, right? 30, 40, it's champ training, so I'll use these. Food. What was that? Two rares and two tens, so one more ten and then we're done. That was like, I mean, I'm quite psyched about the uh, about the bad L. Uh, I've no idea where I'll use him. It's kind of like Michal, like, I've got him recently, like one of the just OGs. Uh, never had them, and so yeah, like it's quite cool to to just have them and play with them and see where you can use them. Uh, right, I'm going to flip on to because I'm doing the fusion on both my accounts, the free to play and the main. So I'm going to flip over to the free to play now, and we'll see if it can get anything good. Okay, so we're on the free to play. Uh, most wanted here is actually a dupe. So any dupe of a legendary that I already have, uh, because. If I get one, the first thing I'm going to do is come and disenchant some of these guys and buy myself a Morley because she'll just like she's just such a good Hydra champ um, that I think she's well worth it, especially on a lesser played account where I don't think I'm ever going to fill up faction guardians. Like it's just a sideline account. Like I'm not playing it hard or anything like i'm never going to max out these faction guardians on this count so it's like i'll just disenchant those extras and get a legendary that i can actually play with i'm fine with that um obviously you do you i'm not suggesting that you should or shouldn't uh disenchant legos to buy du to uh, dupes to buy people but again like i can't see a world where i ever fill up that faction guardians on this account so i'm uh, i'm happy to um to disenchant them again we got no uh 
you know, we did get the 20 points from the thing, um, and we had 10 left over from last time, but they'll just roll over because it's uh, 40 points, and it's free to play account, so it is not getting, uh, it's not getting any anything uh, spent on it. We do have a Lady Iresh, which we could summon if we need to. In fact, I might summon her, because I don't think I, there's any point in saving her. So, I think we'll pull two or three of these, and then we'll... Ooh, straight in. Oh, he might be a dupe. He is a dupe. Let's just check. Guardians, unbind. Yeah, he is. Look at that. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see because I'm, uh, I'm in the way. That is, like, exactly what I wanted. So we'll go and unbind. We'll, we'll go and get ourselves a molly in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Not going to lie. Uh, this account does need um, the Makage fusion still, so not got the not got the fusion on this account. But I don't think those guys help us at all. Let's have a look how we're doing on points. Bear in mind we're going to get another Lego. In fact, I think we'll go and do that now. I think we'll go and disenchant. Uh, let me move me a little bit. There we go. Maybe pull this in. Oh, no, maybe pull... Ooh, that's not what I wanted. I'm pressing the wrong key. There we go. Just pull that in a little. There. Um, right, let's go, and we're going to go disenchant now. Again, don't do this unless you're sure. I'm sure, so I'm fine with that. Unbind. Again, this is, like, it's just my little fun account, so... Uh, and it's never ever getting any money spent on it so I was kind of annoyed because I, I thought I had enough token enough people to disenchant for the tokens and, and then I sort of came unbound them all and uh, or got, unlocked them all getting ready for it and then realized I didn't um, unbind unbind the Drex bye Drex I think, for my money, Molly is the only one worth buying in here. Uh, I don't think any of the others, like, apart from Plan Boss, Fuchan doesn't get a lot of play. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy Santa at that price. Um, so yeah, Molly Tankert. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm still using her in Brutal Hydra on my main account, so uh, I, I'm getting to that point where I'm like, is it time to try and replace her, but yeah, uh, like I just put Wixwell in actually this week, but again, I just don't like running with a reviver because I'm really lazy and I like to run on auto. Uh, so again, we need 50 here, so that'll be fine. In fact, I'll just do a temple on these. Overkill, but... Oh, uh, we've got her. She is for the Makage fusion, but uh, I've already got her. Where are we at on this account? Uh, we're missing... Uh, right, only Lady Quillen, and then these two, the Deja and the Aishma, I'm going to go with. Uh, there we go. First, uh, first set of fragments in the bag. On both counts. And I got a Bad L on one, on one, and I got a Molly on the others. On the other, so, uh, yeah, not, not the traditional way for the Molly, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, ooh, I might be tempted to pull another couple of ancients just to get the um, just to get this chicken because actually, like, I really hate jump training. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. I will catch you all in the next one.